But look at this. Hoyt and Howe betting $2 million here. Saying, I don't care anymore after I misplayed that last one. Jonathan, not much, a nine, seven of clubs. A call. Wow, he has made the call, Vince, for all his money. $1.2 million with just a nine high. Boyd has the chips. He's a chip leader, 2.9 million. Jonathan Cannon with 2.1. Straight in strike him with 1.2. The angels are 4,000. Blinds 15 and 30. Let's go to the felt. Action on the Cowboy. Hoyt Corkins. Picks up a pretty impressive ace nine. Well, the White certainly far and away the most experienced of these players left in this tournament. Here he's got an ace nine. Now that hand is favored over the random two card blind hand, so he's going to raise it here. Makes it 68,000 to go. To Mr. Oil from Tulsa, Jonathan Canner. He's got a nine eight and he folds. Now it's around to the 24 year old. And let me add, this guy studied biological engineering at Cornell University. Pretty impressive stuff. He's going to make the call here with a queen seven offsuit. So he is gambling here with a chip leader. Just a little. Let's see what happens. You know, flop comes ace king seven. So the youngsters flop bottom pair. Hoyt has flopped top pair, and yet it's gone check, check. Hoyt did not bet his two aces there, and it may come back to bite him as the youngsters made two pair on the turn. Oh, Queens and sevens, and now has the lead. Jerry checks again. Trying to trap here. Well, Hoyt's now going to bet, just in case his opponent just made two queens or has some kind of straight draw. Little does he know, he now has the worst hand. 120,000 into Jerry. He can just come right over the top of the guy, but maybe he's afraid. Hoyt was slow playing on the flop by checking. Will he come back over the top, make him pay for it, get him out? No, he's just going to cool call. Right, he's just going to call with two pair. See what happens on the river here. I'm a little surprised he wouldn't raise there, but he didn't. Eight of spade comes off. Action on the youngster. Now look at this, Vince. He checked and called on the turn, and now all of a sudden he's going to lead out and bet on the river. 275,000. Now Hoyt's trying to figure this out. What is going on here? I didn't raise me on the turn. All of a sudden he's going to bet on the river. Now Hoyt's not liking the events, but this could very well be a curiosity call. Uh, very irritating if you're Hoyt right now. And if you look over his right shoulder, you'll see Hoyt's broke cowboy cousin <laughs> in the background. <laughs> oh boy. Well, 275,000. Hoyt's going to make the call. He's not going to like it. I just, I, I just went crazy. Well, Hoyt said he went crazy. Not happy with the way he played that pot. There's the Jerry Birds right there. Yeah, yeah. Hoyt didn't bet this hand on the flop when he hit the two aces, and then he paid off the 275,000 on the river. So he's not at all happy with the way he played that hand. Good start here by Jerry, taking down, at least in that hand, the great Hoyt Corkins. Now action back on Hoyt. Again, he picks up ace high. This time an ace five. Don't anger this cowboy. He certainly bungled the ace nine a minute ago. Let's see what he's going to do here with the ace five. The line's 15 and 30. We're playing fast here in Biloxi, and he's going to raise it 72,000 to go. 72. Now the action on the Oklahoma businessman. Who says if there's one thing I want you to know about me, I said I'm not related to Rodney Dangerfield. Does look a little like him, doesn't he? Something like that, and he folds. So back to the youngster again. This time he's got the 98 holes. He's going to make the call. Why not? Just beat Hoyt a minute ago. Maybe he can do it again. Here he flops the open end straight draw as it comes king six seven. He's going to check. Hoyt again going to make the continuation bet. 80 grand. Oh, and look at this. The youngster's getting out raising chips, Vince. Going to come right over the top with the open end straight draw. Say it ain't so, Mike, but it is. And I like this bet by the youngster here. I like it because he's got a hand you could gamble with if you wanted to, but you're just trying to win it right here with a nine high by coming over the top and raising. He's putting the old lasso right around the cowboy's neck right now. Well, but Hoyt is thinking now. And if I move in on this kid, how would he like that? 
bantamweight expert at moving all in to take down pots, but does he want to do it here? And he bungled up the last pot, not happy with the way he played this one, just gonna sit back and give another pot to the youngster. The newest real money online poker room is here, and it's called WPT Global. Join the world's largest poker network with games running 24 seven with buy-in levels to suit all bankrolls. We've got tons of cash games at all stakes and tournaments every day with huge prize pools. Sign up today in the description below and use bonus code YT85 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. To the table we go, action on young Jerry, and he quickly folds. But now Hoy Corkins with an ace deuce is gonna raise. Well, makes it 110,000 to go. Ace high figures to be the best hand against the big blind, but it's not in this case. The oil man struck oil again. Two kings here. A gigantic hand. Raise. And he announces raise. Well, Hoyt made it 110,000 to go. Let's see how much Jonathan's going to make it. Two seventy-five. To the complete discomfort of Hoyt Corkins. Well, I'll tell you right now, Hoyt Corkins is going to feel like a punching bag. Certainly in this three-handed game, he had the chip lead, and now he's down to a distant third. These guys have just been pounding on him. And Vince Hoyt's the kind of guy that. I will just make a stand and gamble here. He's trying to get a reaction. He smiles, but he gets a snarl back from the oil guy. Let's see if Hoyt can figure that out. He's smiling, but on the inside, he's burning, I can tell you. It just made me nervous. <clears throat> I don't believe you can get nervous. <laughs> when you raise with an ace and a baby card and the guy comes over the top of you, I can tell you, folks, you don't like your hand. Whether Hoyt's going to get stubborn, he's not going to play it. He's flashing his card now, so obviously he's hitting the road, but he's letting his opponent know that, you know, I raise, I got a hand when I raise it. Now it's him, sir. Thank you. I started to gamble with you. That would have been interesting. I had Ace Jack, I'd been in there. I'd been in the center with both barrels. Now, did you hear that? Yeah. Had Ace Jack, he'd been in there. Maybe he's lucky he didn't have the Ace Jack there, Vince. He might have been out of here. Okay, and he's going up to 10,000 bars now, 30 and 60,000. Actually, going right back on Jonathan. And he's got a 10 deuce, quickly folds it. Action on Jerry. Look at this, Vince. Incredible. Two kings, the very same hand that Jonathan had just a moment ago against Hoyt. This is unbelievable. Hoyt's running into all these hands. And this time he's got the Ace Jack. Now, a minute ago, he said he'd be all in if he had that hand. And he's doing it here, Vance. Call. And he's quickly called by the youngster. Uh, wow. And once again, Hoyt looking at a wow. big duke. Wow. As the cards lie, the youngster about a 70% favorite to win this hand and eliminate Hoyt Corkins from this tournament. And Jerry getting a little massage from a stranger in the audience. Hoyt's dreams of capturing a second WPT title on the ropes right now. He's got to sweat five cards to come. Here's the flop. Well, it's come 9-8-8. So far, so good for the youngster. Hoyt's gonna have to catch an ace to take the lead or two running cars to make a straight. Otherwise, he's gonna be our third place finisher. Two cards to come. Here comes the turn. Can Hoyt get lucky? Yes. Nope, five of hearts on the turn. Vance, we have a two-time yes. WPT champion yes. named Barry Greenstein yes. who wrote a book, Ace on the River. Just come black. No, Just come black. Right and right now, Hoyt Corkins has to <laughs> catch an ace on the river, or he's out in third place. Can the kid <laughs> knock him out of this event? Coming down the oh! river. Oh! It's an ace fist. Look, the ace of diamonds pops off on the river to put the dagger in the heart of the 24-year-old. Hoyt Corkins lives on. He doubles oh, his rat. Absolute miracle suck out for Hoyt Corkins. He's very pleased. Oh, man, such a hand like that. He gives the player the real Bloxy blue. Try near river. Okay, more exciting action coming up for Bloxy. We're coming right back. Well, three players left fighting out for this title. Our current chip leader is a businessman out of Oklahoma, Jonathan Cantor, with 2.5 million in chips. There you see Hoyt Corkins right on his tail with 2.4 million. In third place, a 24-year-old youngster out of Rochester, New York. There you see him, Jerry Van Stridonk. He's got 1.3 million. 
just took a horrible beat when he lost to an ace on the river for Hoyt to double up. Okay, with King Queen, he's gonna raise it. Makes it 120,000 into Mr. Lucky Cowboy himself, Hoyt Corkins. Well, Hoyt's only got an ace deuce, but that's enough for him to raise it up to 400,000. He said, maybe I'll catch another ace on the river. Oil goes out. Man, he did that so quick. Yeah, Vance. What is it? It's definitely called if you shove. Well, he said, I definitely call if you shove. Maybe you should shove. Hmm. Jeez, you just did that so quick. Well, with this hand, you're always afraid your opponent's got ace, king, or ace, queen, where you'd be dominated. Will you show me if I fold? asked, would you show me if I fold? Maybe I'll show him the deuce, Vince. And a fold by Jerry. You see one? Come on, just for that ace, just one. Yeah, nice. Oh, he does show him the ace. Beat that. I, can't, I couldn't beat that, but I could flip with a lot of it. Very congenial. Well, we'll get a flip. I just feel a little sorry for Jerry at that last suck out. Okay, this hand Jerry is quickly folded. Now Cowboy Hoyt with a six, four of hearts just calling. And Mr. Oil with an A6, not gonna raise. Well, most people would raise when their opponent limped in like that. But not Jonathan, we'll see the flop here. Well, a good flop for Jonathan, it's come ace, nine, three. But Hoyt's coming out and betting here. He's not putting his opponent on an ace. He's going to try to represent like he's got something. So he bet 75,000, and he's quickly called. Yep, no raise, just a call. Oh, Hoyt's got to hit two runners to win this pot. Well, there's one of them. A four comes off. Hoyt checks. Yeah, he's going to slow down. Well, the guy calls you on the flop. He must have something. There's Jonathan's wife, Linda. Nervous about watching her man here. Well, he is going to bet here a hundred thousand. Yeah, he's going to make Hoyt pay for it if he wants to stick around. Hoyt is making this call now. The only way you can make this call is if you specifically put your opponent on a pair of threes. There's no other hand you can beat when he calls your bet on the flop. Boy, trying to steal it, but it's better than that. He oh. hits three of a kind. He hits Colt 44s on the Turin River to gun down his opponent. And he checks, and that's a missed check there because he doesn't get the action behind him. He's going to be kicking himself about <laughs> that, but he still takes down a nice pot. Well, I agree, Vince. He missed a great opportunity to value bet right there. He knows it, too, right now. Probably kicking himself, and even though he got lucky and won that pot, he missed out on a value bet on the river, and pros hate to do that. Yeah, trying to take a gamble with that, trying to make the big play, but it backfires. That's going to annoy him just a little bit. Right, to the next hand we go. Jerry now with a jack five of spades, and he quickly folds it. But look at this. Hoyt now betting $2 million here. Saying, I don't care anymore after I misplayed that last one. Jonathan with not much, a nine, seven of clubs. I call. Wow, he has made the call, Vince, for all his money. $1.2 million with just a nine high. One of the most shocking calls I've seen in a long time. You got the best hand. I was out of bounds on that one. Not necessarily. Boy. I think he wants to take that jet back to Oklahoma real fast with that call. I just wow. can't believe okay. it. I'm okay. <laughs> well, Hoyt is ecstatic now to see he's got the best hand with the jack high. And there's Jonathan's wife, Linda. She's in shock. Uh, I'll catch something, one of those two in the window. How can yeah, my yeah, man yeah. put in 1.2 million with nine high? Not one of your two. I'll catch one of my two. Good luck. Well, Thanks. we can yeah, still get lucky. We will see. Huge pot here. We're coming back with the conclusion of his hand in just a moment. A shocking call off by Jonathan Cantor with just 9-7. Cowboy Hoyt Cork is out in front with Jack Six. Well, it is shocking. Hoyt moved all in out of the small blind with Jack Six offsuit. Jonathan made the call for 1.2 million, all his money with a nine high. Hoyt in shock. He's got the best hand with the Jack High. No but longer. no longer. Oh. It's come Ace, Queen, Seven. Like he knew it was coming, Jonathan has picked up the sevens, and he's in front of the Cowboy. Well, his wife can't believe it. She's holding her breath now to see if his hand can hold up. Well, a queen comes nice. off. 
Ace. Avoid hollering for an ace because that would give him a win as well as a jack. Five. Five of clubs. Five of clubs. Boy, five of clubs. Punchy. Five of clubs. Jonathan calling for the five of clubs. Any five. All he needs is any card but an ace or a jack. Anything else any will win it for him. The cowboy gets up from the saddle, stands up to look at the river. Whoa, Hoyt bucked off the horse here. As the eight of hearts comes up on the river, Jonathan Cantor has doubled up here. Wife Linda fainting in front of us. The crowd celebrating us. Get up, honey, we're still alive here. Here's the chip, buddy. Great call. Oh, look at Hoyt cannot keep his straight face. His great call with a smirk. I've, 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 had, I've had nothing. His I've dreams of becoming a multiple WPT champion just took a big hit <laughs> right there. He's trying to get in that club. Daniel Negrano, Carlos Mortensen, Barry Greenstein, Gus Hanson, and others belong to him. Right now, he's got to work to do it. Here we go for the next one. Hoyt chuckling it up. He folds his hand. Well, with that hand, Jonathan Cantor has taken the chip lead, Vince. Unbelievable how this chip lead is seesawed back and forth between these three players. 120. This time he's got Jack Nine's going to raise. He said 120,000. Jerry's got him dominated. He's got Queen Nine. He does make the call, though. The flop comes 10, 8, 6. Both players with a straight draw. Jonathan has an open in straight draw. He checks, though. Jerry's going to make a bet here with a gut shot straight draw. He just has queen high, but he bets 175,000. Yep, and Jonathan's not going anywhere. He's making the call. Jonathan open-ended. Jerry with a gut shot. Inside straight draw. Deuce of diamonds comes off. Check. Doesn't help either player. And it goes check, check. So we're going to the river. Four diamonds comes off. That also no help to either player. No one gets there. Who has the guts to bet? Jonathan is going to make a stab at this pot. Yeah. Wow, what a great bet he's making, Vince. He's going to win the pot by making a bet there. Yeah. Now, if he just disgustingly checked because he didn't hit his hand there, he lost that pot to the queen eye. He's got hard. He bet 375 and a quick buck by Jerry. So Jonathan Cantor, our chip leader, Trying to take home that title, carry it back to Oklahoma. Action on this hand to Hoyt. He's got King Queen. He's getting the raising chips out. And putting them in. He's going to bet 200,000. Jonathan going to take a breather. Goes away. And now Jerry with a suited connector, nine, eight of diamonds. All in. He says all in with it. Well, he has gone all in here. No call. Let's not know Hoyt that well because Hoyt calls in this spot most of the time. He's done it here. And as the cars lie, Hoyt's about a three to two favorite to win this pot and eliminate the youngster from the tournament. Jerry Bird. A little confused there on the rail. Jerry's friends from New York. 60-40 in it. Well, the best hand hasn't won yet. Why start now? Jerry's right about that part. Best hand has not won yet. Nine ball! Yeah, Let's see if it'll do it now. If so, we'll be down to heads up play. Here comes the flop. Seven, four, deuce. No club. Right card. Well, the youngster needs two cards to make Pitcher. a straight or to catch a nine or an eight to take the lead. No club. Let's see if he can do it. Ten. Desperate young man. Ten. Yeah. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Ace, that's diamonds. good call. Ace of diamonds comes on the turn, so we are down to the river. Jerry must catch a nine or an eight, otherwise he'll be our third place finisher. The guy that was one card away with his kings of eliminating Hoyt. Hoyt out rivered him. Now can he do the same to him? Well, ten of diamonds comes on the river, so that's going to do it from the 24-year-old from Rochester, New York, Jerry Van Stridunk, is out in third place. 196,000, but don't forget, he was rivered out. Otherwise, he's a massive chip leader. Got outdrawn by Hoyt Puppets with that ace. And this is how it goes. Man, third place is pretty good when you start with 208 people, but once you get there, you want, you want to win, for sure. The newest Real Money Online Poker Room is here, and it's called WPT Global. Join the world's largest poker network 
with games running 24-7 with buy-in levels to suit all bankrolls. We've got tons of cash games at all stakes and tournaments every day with huge prize pools. Sign up today in the description below and use bonus code YT85 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Action on Hoyt oh. and he's picked up the atom bomb as pair of aces on the very first hand. Unbelievable. That will certainly help you take that step toward that second WPT title, Vince. You pick up aces, heads up, but he limped in on the button. And try to play it slow. And Jonathan says, okay, let's see a flop. Oh, and Jonathan has flopped top pair here. This could spell trouble for him. Yes, he's going to check it. Well, the slow play might have worked, Vince. His opponent has hit some of the flop. Hoyt's bet 75,000. Jonathan looks back at his hand. Hoyt staring him down intently as he watches his opponent make the call. So Hoyt out in front with the two aces, eight of diamonds on the turn. And again, Jonathan checks the top pair. And again, Hoyt's going to reach for chips. Yep, he's going to bet 225,000 trying to protect the aces. Raise. Look at this. Jonathan has check raised. Vince, he believes he's got the best hand with the two jacks. You're never going to put Hoyt on two aces here because he limped in on the button. This could get very dangerous here. 650,000 is the bet. Dangerous for Jonathan. Well, Vince, the problem is when you don't raise pre flop, your opponent can have any two cards. He could have fives and eights. He could have jacks and fives. He could have a straight. He could have anything. And look at this. Hoyt is laying down the two aces, Vance. What the? Unbelievable. I mean, even, yes, you don't know, but you're playing a heads-up action. You got aces. Oh, look at the wonder cam. Vance, a 10 comes on the river. Hoyt Corkins would have lost that pot had he played it, but, well, as it was, he made the wrong play at the right time. That is correct. Like he knew it was coming or something, but the blinds are going up to 40 and 80,000, and he's 10,000. Well, they're about dead even in chips now, but we could have lost a lot of chips in that last pot. Jonathan this time with a jack three, and he's going to raise it. Makes it 175,000. Hoyt with queen five. A little punchy from that last hand to the fold. How good would Jonathan be feeling? If he saw his opponent folded in two aces the previous hand, wow. Yeah. He thinks the guy went out with an inferior hand. Little does he know what he did. Very interesting. Action back on Hoyt Corkins. Well, here he looks down at the ace three offsuit. Well, here he's getting out raising chips, Vince. That guy wouldn't raise with two aces. So he's going to raise with the ace three offsuit. 190,000. So. And he's going to get a call by Jonathan with Queen 8. Oh, an ace right in the door for Hoyt. That's a nice one for him as it comes ace 10 9. Jonathan quickly checks. So Jonathan has a gut shot straight draw and a backdoor diamond flush draw, but Hoyt has the best hand with two aces, and he is going to bet 210,000. Okay. Jonathan's going to gamble, Vince, going to try to catch that jack, trying to strike lightning. See if he can get it. Nope. Five of clubs comes off. Check. Jonathan has checked here. If you're sitting in Hoyt's seat, and you're saying, hmm, that call me on the flop. I don't want to get check raised here. You hate to give a guy a free draw if he has a straight or a flush draw. But that's exactly the case. Hoyt is giving him a free draw to try to catch the jack. Well, the diamond does come off. Now, we know Jonathan doesn't have a diamond flush, but He's going to act like he's got advance. He is reaching for betting chips right here. And he's going to bet 450,000 and put the WPT champ to the test. And Jonathan doesn't have much, but he does have imagination and a lot of guts. And will it pay off? No, not to be. Hoyt's going to call him down. And he's going to win this pot. I think he made a good call, Hoyt and take one step closer to capturing that second WPT title. 
Boyd Corgan's winning the pot with aces up. And Vance, he's moving in the right direction. Cowboy last sees another out in front. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. 40 and 80. Action this time to Jonathan Cantor. King 10 he has. And he's going to limp in and call on the button. Boyce has an A7. I'm all in. I call. Boyce is very famous. We're moving all in with an ace high in this spot. He got called by the king eye. So again, Jonathan up against it here. As the cards lie, Hoyt about a three to two favorite again. This time, if he wins the pot, he'll be our champion. Wow. Jonathan up on his feet. Hoyt gets off his horse. The guys shake hands. Good luck. Thanks. We got a showdown. Bad luck. Okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> You're wishing the same. Yeah, I want you to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same. <laughs> I hope you win the next tournament you play in. Well, I'll tell you, two really good guys going at it here, fighting for this title. Hoyt, of course, trying to become a multiple WPT champion. Not many guys have done it. He wants to join that elite club. Can he do it right here, right now? Five cards to come. Here's the Anyone first three. Know. Oh, an ace on the flop. Oh. Hoyt in great shape to take this title right here. Not looking good. His opponent has to catch two runners in a row to win this spot. Two running clubs. Two running cards to make a straight. I'm in trouble. Or two running cards that are a combination of a king and a ten. Aces have been good for Hoyt Corkin so far tonight. Ten of clubs. Will it continue? Ten of clubs. Here comes the turn card. Oh, the eight of clubs comes off. It's never easy. Hoyt shaking his head says it's never easy. It's never easy. He knows that if Jonathan catches a club on the river, it's never easy. He will win this pot and double up. Oh, the pain. Just make it black, <laughs> and we'll figure it out. That's one way of looking at it. We are going to the river. Well, can Hoyt Corkins dodge a club to become a two-time WPT champ? Title yes. on the line. Five of hearts comes off. The Alabama Cowboy has done it. And I believe because he came to this final table with a big chip lead, is the reason he's our champion tonight. He had some shaky play in the middle. He went down, and he battled his way back.